Am I actually doing vlogmas right now? Fucking <laughs> cringe. Insane. As usual, I am dressed up like a fucking red marshmallow because this is what I wear. It's just like a full body red coat. And it's from a company that doesn't exist anymore named Vout. But people always ask me, so that's where I got it if anyone is wondering. It's like a full body, just red pea coat. And then I have a hood, but if my hair is up, sometimes the hood just looks, looks very strange. Uh, like, I don't know, a taco that's overflowing. Even like with everywhere I've been, like I literally think that walking through the city in the morning is still my favorite part of the entire day. Like even when I go, when I went to Dubai, like the number one thing that I missed was just walking in the morning, especially when no one else is up because it just feels very, like absolutely no one else. I mean, there's like one person around, but no one is around and it feels very peaceful and in the cold, even less people are out. So I'm going to going to work out now. I'm not filming in there. I get very self-conscious. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna film today. I kinda wanna film a cooking video, an update. Today is gonna be a, a total work day on Sundays. It's often total work days. I'm like re, I'm like, I don't like to trade on Sundays because the volume is low, so it's like fuckery, but usually I do try to do something to like reposition my portfolio, so. cold brew in 28, 30, whatever the hell degree weather it is because I am a sociopath, but also La Cologne cold brew is unparalleled. Actual workout though was carrying up my bag of laundry. This shit is literally 45 pounds. I don't mean to be dramatic, but like this is easily like up to my, I don't know, probably mid thigh, like where, where a fucking garter would go. People ask how I went from like a fucking praying mantis skeleton to having a little bit of muscle and it's dead ass just carrying this shit up five flights of stairs. Just takes a toll, toll on you. Um, I'm going to shower and then start my day. We'll do a little life update while I put away my laundry. I'm texting my best friend Sarah, but she can wait. We're talking about psycho guys in her life as usual. I'm in um, this really fluffy robe. This is like the really fake polyester like where you just know after a few washes it's not going to be fluffy anymore but it's really fucking soft it's from amazon i'm in my pepe slippers as well uh because you know necessary just a very cozy vibe i didn't know whether i was going to move to dubai full time or just get a place and after being there for a few months i did see that i want to split my time i don't want to live in dubai full time dubai is beautiful and great for a luxury vacation and to get away from like the hustle and the bustle and it's really like fast paced still so it's not like an island resort by any means but it definitely is it's more like luxurious and like the service there is like they want people that are visiting to like every time there's like someone gives you a massage they're like please give me a good review on TripAdvisor etc like they really want to be known for their service and things like that so it's great to vacation there like I love Dubai like flat out it feels more like home than New York but in a weird way like I don't want to be based there for the majority of the year I'd rather have my I have my residence visa I can live there however often I want probably six months or less a year because the summer is just going to be too hot I was even thinking about getting a new apartment because I like this apartment but the East Village I don't want to say I'm outgrowing it because that would just be like, that's not really the case, but almost like I've always liked the financial district, like FIDI, and I don't want to overextend myself with capital because I know people that are in like eight, like nine figures who like spend less than I do, and I don't spend much money by any means more than I can afford. Like a lot of the things that seem very glamorous are like, oh my God, you're flying first class. It's like, yeah, I paid someone in crypto when I made a good trade for that day that was like three or four grand for this flight. but. I do want to get to like life-changing wealth and I can do that like I trade well um, I know that people on Twitter think I'm just like tits and ass meme with no brain who needs to go kill herself but like in all honesty like I'm managing other people's capital now and I need to open a fund ASAP like it's getting the overhead like I, I can't just keep doing it the way I'm doing it which is legal and everything uh but I I, I mean I'd like a more infrastructure so like I'm partnering with um tranche finance because a really good friend he's he's head of that and that is a DeFi platform 
a decentralized finance platform that does help you manage risk and I can authentically like advise and talk about that but like there's some other things that are now listed on major exchanges that like they offered me like do you want to become an advisor come part of our marketing thing and I'm like I can't promote you I don't understand what this does and then I look at how much has gone up and it's gone up like a thousand percent and I'm like you would have been like set for forever you would have had such great production so I don't know, I try not to beat myself up with the what ifs. So as for a life update, like I'm accomplishing a ton, I'm trying to get a lot done, trying to fucking start a hedge fund myself because it's the kind of thing where I can ask friends to like help, but it is literally on me, like no one else can get accredited for me, no one else can set this up for me, no one else can sign the legal papers, no one else can hire a team to develop the kind of project that I'm looking to build that people will, I think, really, really appreciate from like all different walks of life in terms of crypto and astrology and whatnot. And like, I remember in the very beginning, I was like, dad, I can't afford this flat out. Can I pay you back? He was like, yeah, for a couple months, like I'll front you, just pay me back. And then I pay him back and now I'm flaying him out to Dubai. And he's like nauseous at the level of volatility of my investments. And I'm managing, I'm managing like, like, so like other, it's just insane. It is insane. I'll show you, show you the rest of my very boring day. Uh, maybe I'll get out of this robe, but it's fucking cozy. Okay, I changed. Robe is not to, robe is not productive. I must be in a, a track suit to feel productive. This is not sponsored, but Goose Creek Candle, this shit is the best, these are the best candles ever. But Candy Cane Cookie, that is the one that we have, I'm about to light, that I've had lit. And I'm having some orange strident, because if you know me, you know that's my addiction. I did burn myself straightening my founding father baby hairs that are micro curly, because I didn't want them sticking out when I filmed, because I'm self-conscious. To the daily routine we go. So obviously first thing that I do, like literally as soon as I start working, I need to check the market. Um, given it's Sunday, I'm not necessarily looking for a trade right now because volume on Sundays is shit, meaning that less people are trading, so there's more like, there's just more fuckery in the market because moves can be fake outs. Like it might not be indicative of larger trends, it's just like whoever has the size at that time. So. For now, I'm looking at the market. I'm looking at any major gainers or losses or anything that shows up on my Cointelegraph Markets Pro. So like if I go to more Markets Pro, I've talked about them before because like literally like I know the people behind it and so I'm like very, it's my favorite tool ever. Um, it basically just shows you trending coins. Like for now it says, it's talking about Sandbox, the Metaverse Play and Adidas. We have the burn on my cheekbone from this, such a bad angle, but it's fine. Um, yeah, Adidas for, Met for Metaverse, Binance is listening, Render. That was a good play, like Render was a good play for those of you that looked at it. I had like very smart people telling me to get into Render, but it's just one of the plays I didn't do. Um, like I, what I like about this and why I use it very early on in my day is that it shows you what's called the Vortex scoreboard, which is like the trending coins, the ones that have run up the most. Sandbox, 6%. Der Deriva Dow went up uh, 155%. Let me see if I can show this. Yeah, Deriva Dow went up 155%. That is insane. So if something has run up a ton and it's on an exchange I use, I like to short the retrace. I've talked about that a lot. It's not a technique I'll recommend to newer traders, even though I could consider myself a newer trader, but I try to get in. First thing I do is I open a position um, for the day, unless it's Saturday, Sunday, and that's when I'm more careful and might be looking. But looks like some of these, like crypto.com is down 10%. That could be a good short to continue. Doge is down 4%. I like shorting dog shit, so I might look at that. Um, and after this, I'm going to be prepping Bitcoin December 2022 videos, but literally I'm just gonna be like here for the foreseeable future, um, unless my friend, Asked me to go get coffee as we do like most days, um, sometime in the, the afternoon. So yeah, need to go out and get groceries so I can make this pho soup later tonight. I'm not a soup person, I've said that before, but like I had pho the other day and I remember how much I liked it and this lighting's really cute right now with a little sunset in the back. It's like 3.45 and of course there's already a sunset because that's New York in the winter. But I'm gonna go out and yeah, get some groceries. <laughs> Oh, it's a black hole. it got picked up on audio but I literally got this coffee for free like the woman she was like it's on the house I went and got groceries but as I was leaving like I forgot that it's this like local Indian family that owns the like tiny grocery store it's like a health food store 
And as I'm walking out, she's like, let me give you some of this vegan, like mung bean lentil um, vegetable soup. So I was like, well, maybe I don't even have to make soup tonight because she's just giving me some. Let's see what, what's in here. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, I'll save the cooking for another video, but this is like this lentil mung bean carrot pea soup. So yeah, okay. So yeah, I don't think we'll need, I'll save this. I'm thinking about meeting a friend tonight for dinner anyway that um, I haven't seen for a little bit and she's in town. So I might meet up with her and say, I, I don't know, I just have soup and that's so kind. Have a TikTok uploading. Entered a man along. Let's see how it's doing. Okay, well, uh, daily profit has been hit, just hit, so. Even though I'm not happy with the amount of work I have done today because prepping for Bitcoin 2022 is taking a bit longer than I expected today and there's still some things like I actively need to do for today. I am meeting a friend and a friend of that friend. Uh, they're at a wine bar. I'm just coming along uh, to discuss in person like meetups and events that we want to host. So I feel like it's a productive and worthwhile reason to leave the lair even though this long is printing. I need to move my stop loss since it's in so much profit. So I make sure I'm in profit, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna leave the lair. Absolutely no idea what to wear. So you know, we do tracksuit chic and wear platform, like literal platform shoes with the tracksuit. <laughs> It's always funny being out with crypto people because like you never know whether someone doxes and is like sharing their identity publicly online or not. So like you never or like I never am gonna film someone when I'm out with them. So it is kind of cool I mean, and weird and funny because it's like that aspect of my life with friends and all is not documented. Like no one with a bunch of people that don't leave their mom's basements. Just kidding, the people I was with tonight definitely leave their mom's basements. They're, they're like NFT artist people are more social and more enjoyable to be around than like, I don't know, some of the the, the 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 ones who aren't artists but i have a suitcase that came in this huge box is a suitcase and i need to i need to open it oh my god all right we did it <laughs> this is the suitcase i just needed a new suitcase my like other suitcases were like white marble print and they got dirty and they were falling apart and literally just a mess i've had them since i was like 13. So we have one large suitcase ready for when I head to Miami this week. Oh, and by the way, this is not like sponsored, but I still have electric cloud drinks. Like whenever I'm at home in New York, I always get them auto shipped. I'll like drop, I actually have, I have an affiliate code for this. I asked them and I was like, guys, you're my favorite drink. You're like the only thing I drink besides coffee. Highly recommend. It's like a CBD drink. I don't know, they're really good. They're like, they're fun. So uh, I'll drop a link down below, not sponsored. I just figured I would, Show you, I have them every night in my Slytherin cup. As I'm finishing up work and I'm gonna head out to bed since I was like out for a little while with my friends, I think it goes to show that like just after spending time with some people that are like people, even if I am not doing anything in particular with them that's like that fun or that uplifting, just being around people and having that connection, you're in a better headspace. So as hard as it is for someone who's like a workaholic like me to justify going out, taking time away from like researching, trading, whatever. I can see that it is important to keep me level-headed and I'm watching along that I need to close. So I'm a little bit like, I need to, even this right now, I'm like, I need to get back to work. Just a reminder that like, if you're in your own head, just like see people, just like see people because you can all be struggling, but like then you're together and you're like, okay, I'm gonna be okay. I'm going to be okay. So that's my two cents. I'm gonna sign out. I was gonna do a like cook with me di video today, but since I went out, I didn't do that. I think tomorrow, tomorrow I'll do that. Tomorrow I will do like a what night eat in the day cook with Marin type thing before I head out to Miami and my content's more travel based. But yeah, I hope that you're well. Hope that this first day of Vlogmas was not as boring as a day in my life always is. Uh, I need to wash my face and get to bed. So sending all the love, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.